Now, as I've said many times, conservatives seek a two-state solution in which Israelis and Palestinians can each pursue security and economic development through democratic, responsive, and pluralistic self-governing institutions. And let's be very clear that Hamas and IRGC terrorists do not want a two-state solution. They want to perpetually use the Palestinian situation as their justification for pursuing their selfish ends. The negotiated final status agreement that we hoped for would in reality be the worst nightmare of these extremists because these extremists thrive only in the midst of conflict and violence. Now, while recognizing the effectiveness of those Israeli defenses, I think it's very important to recognize the vital contributions and collaboration of some of Israel's Arab neighbors. Neighbors who have disagreements with Israel on various subjects, but who are collaborating in the pursuit of peace and of shared security interests. There is a fundamental alignment between Israel and many of its neighbors who are moving towards greater cooperation in response to the aggressive and colonial agenda of the regime in Iran. And I hope that this will provide the basis for continuing and growing collaboration and enhanced dialogue on a range of issues. Because we know how uh, many Muslim majority states in the region uh, have been victimized as a result of the horrific violence coming from the regime in Tehran. Uh, we could speak about Lebanon, about Syria, about Afghanistan, about Yemen, about the civil wars that are unfolding because of, of uh, proxies that are sponsored by the regime uh, in Tehran. Uh, the, we, could, we could speak about the support that the Taliban have received from uh, the, the terrorist regime in Tehran, uh, the destabilizing effect of Hezbollah in Lebanon, and many, many other examples, the general capricious disregard that the regime in Tehran has shown for uh, the peoples of all nations in the, uh, in the region. Uh, the, the constant uh, genocidal demonization of Israel, but also violence against all peoples in the region and around the world.